Well, I'm joined now from Salford by Andrew Webb from the Association of Directors of Children's Services. Andrew Webb, I suppose the first question is how the Association of Social Services Directors really responds to this, particularly in terms of the horror of what we now know in detail about what happened. The, the horror is as, as awful for um, someone like me who's been working in the child protection system since the 1970s as it is for anybody else who reads about it. And one of the things we have to bear in mind is that uh, these cases where the, such brutal treatment uh, is meted out by, by an adult to a child are very rare. Um, there are always lessons we can learn, um, but uh, the, the, the sheer uh, lack of um, uh, ability to see what goes on behind closed doors um, and the ability of parents who are abusing to to mask what they're doing and hide things from those professionals who, are, who do see the child and, and do have a relationship with the child um, is always there in the background. But the extreme of Victoria Clambier, of, of, of baby Peter, um, and now, of course, of Daniel, um, mm. they may be the extreme, but in a much, you know, further back down the line, there are children constantly abused to some extent uh, and in danger. And one of the questions one really has is, do social services have a culture that really is so resistant to taking children into care, so resistant to intruding, uh, partly because of cost, but partly too because of the massive undertaking that taking a child into care involves? Um, I don't think there's any evidence of a resistant culture. Um, you always have to weigh up um, when you're looking at a child's life, the short-term, medium-term and long-term gains that you could make by taking a child away from their parents um, and the risks that are associated with that as well. Um, if you think about the context here, uh, there are about 66,000 children in care on any one day in this country and the majority have been taken into care uh, through the courts, they're on care orders. Um, last year, well the last year for which we have full figures, um, over 6,000 were placed in, in permanent homes and, and that's described by parents, groups and so on as a, as a draconian response. So there's a real tension um, in the system around taking children away and, and giving them a permanent, uh, but, permanent but, home but with alternative but, parents. One of, one of the things which, which is a truth is that no central government, indeed no group of social services, has ever really blown the whistle on the need massively to increase investment in children's services. Not necessarily to take them into care, but to provide the kind of huge support that many of these deprived families, families that have no fathers, on a scale we've never known before in our society. And there is no talk of that. Anyone looking in from outside would say that should be society's greatest imperative. Yeah, the um, evidence we have um, around uh, supporting children and families, whether it's the recent look at um, troubled families, uh, you know, multi-agency reviews taking a slightly different perspective or not. Um, so you say to, um, you've got uh, enough money, to... your budgets are big enough, all that, that's fine, got enough no. personnel? No, no, not at all. What I was going to say was what we failed to do is pick up the need to um, invest in the long term in some families to keep their children safe. Um, the, the amount of support and surveillance that you can put in over a short period and test whether a parent's able to cope is, is one thing. But if you make then a judgment that the, in emotional terms the child will be best, uh, best off in, in the long term staying at home, you might then need to make a judgment that says you have to invest um, on a regular basis, uh, significant support, keeping returning to helping the parent parent, keeping returning to tackling mm. issues of drug and alcohol misuse, keeping returning to the uh, pointing out the, the impact of uh, abusive relationships with other adults and, and, and the effect that has on the child. Andrew Webb, thank you very much indeed for, for joining us.